Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. Next up is my own personal work and gaming computer system. I'll go through all the components that I use in this particular setup. First of all, the case. I'm using a Silverstone TJ07 black aluminum case for power supply. I went with the Antec True Power Quattro 850 watt for a motherboard. I went with the Asus P5 NT Deluxe for CPU I went with the Intel Q6600 2.4 gigahertz, but I have it overclocked to 3.5 gigahertz. For memory, I went with the G Skill DDR2 PC2 8800 4 gigabyte memory kit. For water cooling, I went with the Swift Tank H2O 120 Premium. Video cards, I went with two 8800 GTXs. For a sound card, I selected the Sound Blaster X5. For hard drives, went with the Western Digital Raptor X 150 gigabyte. I went with two of those, and I have them in a RAID 0 configuration. For a burner, I went with the Plexter PX755 serial ATA, and yes, I have a floppy drive. Quite frankly, if you have a new motherboard and Vista, a floppy drive is really no longer required for updating things like the BIOS and RAID drivers. I went with a plain keyboard, uh, the Hyper HCK1K18A black aluminum. And again, it's a plain keyboard because it's nothing like some of the ones that are being released today with all kinds of different buttons and lights and so on and so forth. I kind of got used to just using a standard keyboard way back when, uh, you know, first when first person shooters came out. And I just can't shake it. I just got to have a standard keyboard to play those games. Um, for a mouse, I went with the Razer Copperhead. For a mouse pad, the Razer Mantis Matte. For a display, the BenQ FP241 VW24 inch LCD. Now, for an audio system, I did not choose to go with a standard uh, all in one uh, 5.1 audio system. You know, the thing you buy at the store in a big box? I never went that way. But that's fine. You can go that way if you want to. Um, I can, I'm kind of a little bit fussy about my audio, and I kind of want to have decent quality and fairly loud. So what I did is I went with um, home audio components, a Pioneer 5.1 receiver. That's a little bit old model. It's the VSXD209, uh, but more than adequate, quite frankly, for just gaming. A Sermon Vega um, HT... S10A sub uh, for surround sound speakers. Use Poke Audio uh, RTI4 for the front, the Poke Audio R15s for the rear, and a Sermon Vega E75C for the center channel. Uh, that's way more, quite frankly, than you need, but um, I'm a little bit of an audio enthusiast, so forgive me. Um, for a headset, currently I'm just using the Steel Series Steel Sound 5HV2. And for a router, I'm using the D-Link DIR655 uh, Extreme N Gigabyte. For a flash drive, I'm just using a 2 gigabyte Crucial Gizmo uh, drive, and that's really just for updating, you know, the BIOS and RAID drivers and things like that. And for an uninterrupted power supply, I'm using the Ultra 1200 Watt Backup. Why do I need that? Well, if power fails, it's certainly good to have. And for an operating system, I'm using the Windows Vista Ultimate 64-bit. Keep your questions coming.